turning the compost heap over and I found heaps of these and those are grass snake eggs. Oh I found another one. Good. They're quite heavy those, they look like puffballs. <laughs> Flex your muscles. Well, they're about to restore it, well, are they? About to yeah. totally restore it. It's going to cost a lot, aren't it? Are they going to take it away to do it, have they? I think we're going to take it away because it's all going to be blasted. Sandblasted? Yeah. yeah it's cast and then away. repainted. Are you going to have the same colours? Well, as far as we can. It's yeah. been lots of different colours over the it years. It was blue but, when yeah. I think it, I first came yeah. here. job for you? Uh, uh, I do do quite a crowd and stuff like this. I'm making a left camera lens. It's us just to keep going. That's so, all machine sorted. Right, yeah, we've got and partly man, man sorted as well.
Another ten. Yes, they all look lovely. They look fantastic this morning. You were supposed to be cowards. Terrified the first time we went up there. Now that is a very smart pony, sunglasses on. dressage. Derman and this is my firm Ashcolm and these are my workmen. I'm Tony. <laughs> I'm Mike Derman, his brother. <laughs> I'm Ben. I'm Jack.
SVD. So what's that little thing? It's a bell shaped spider which was carefully crafted from whole pieces of bell ringing wood by my friend Mrs. Smith here. It's just a hook rope song. You've oh. been bell ringing for 50 years? I so, yeah. No, that's amazing. I'm sorry when I said there on. I'm 82 and 0. That's so fantastic. Well, that's 55, isn't it? Yeah. No, 65. <laughs> Come on, Mara, we went for you. Oh, I, I see, I'm leaking off, am I? Yeah, you are, Mara, unless you're going to change five, a bit of to me. Right, look, look to Trevor's game, Trevor's gone. <laughs> Game, 
season. They haven't wanted to know, have they? They want to give it back to us. Yeah? So let's get out there and keep doing it. And the passing, the last 20 minutes, all the balls have been defeated. Tell me what's happening here. Um, we are playing against Elmore and we are winning 4-2. That's pretty good. And who are you? I am Daniel Wood. Thank you, Daniel. Star man. Thank you, star. <laughs> Mel, how many ducks have you sold? About 720. At how much? One pound a duck. That sounds pretty right, good. So more, plenty more to sell, though. What are you two doing? <laughs> Come here. Are you the rescue outfit? No, I'm going to chuck the decent. It's going to be fun <laughs> Denise, you're a good sport. I'm not going down the river though. I'll be I'll be under before you know it. There he is. Put your toes in. You found the bottom yet? Just a bag. Rush up my feet. To me, I could do something. They'd found a dead bird and they were covered in mud. Nice. What's the final tally there? Uh, I'm not quite sure because we sold a lot last minute, um, but it was we were definitely into the 700s. And you'll raise? And we'll raise even more now because we're going to do our cream team. But it's so. be over a thousand pounds. Hopefully. That's This was the dungeon. That's the most wonderful old mounting block. And then those are the steps up to the top of the tower. This is the northwest tower. bit of wall. This is the moat. And that's Sir William. And that's Lady Margaret. Now, you'll probably all recognise this, but don't realise that this was Sir William and Lady Margaret's private way into the church. There's a hole in the wall there. And they went straight into church. The stream wasn't there then, it's been diverted. And this is the other end of their little path to the church. When you're down on the street, at street level, you don't think it's as green as this, but it really is a very green village. Wouldn't it be nice to be a bird up here? You'd be spoilt for choice. subscription. Okay. Mm -hmm. Hello. 
the straight to go. There you go. Okay. And this mechanism has been here since? 1747. 1747, that is truly amazing. That handle was, is the key. Yeah. And the weights used to go right down behind you, across over there, um, down to the floor on, on the belfry. This bell is 1624. 1624? 16, yes. Brian says that this is how they used to tune the bells by knocking lumps out of the edge. Mm. It's a bit like adding weights to car wheels, isn't it? You can push the clapper. Give you the same noise. Well, push this one. Yeah. Oh, that's amazing. That was me, I'm sorry everybody. That will hum for ages. Oh, doesn't it? This man's just told me a secret. Okay. Yeah, fantastic. Awesome. There are some cliff names carved in the stonework at the top of the tower. Which you visited when you were how old? Oh gosh, when I was at primary school. I thought you were drinking a bottle of beer when I saw you just now. You thought I was drinking a bottle of beer? Yes. Hello, Brian, do you mind if I film you? Just no. a little bit. <laughs> I tell you what I'm doing, I'm doing a film of Hemioc. Oh, good. And it's going to go in the archives, and it's just yes. all, all the sort of things that go on in the village, but I am trying to get a few people in there as well. Good. Is it the sun? This is dear Mavis. Sorry, Mavis, I'll stand on the other side. It's Jenny Parsons, and I'm doing oh. a film of Hemiocs. I'm just getting all sorts of things that happen in the village, and... You're happening in the village. Oh, gosh. <laughs> Put the glasses on or leave them on. This is the working party here. <laughs> Just put the time as one o'clock. <laughs> <laughs> no, we haven't got a past one. Mrs. Lums is. Here. Um, back in the early 60s, I think. Before Basically, ripping one? the green up ready for next year. You but can't have one. You can't have one. You can't have one. You can't And how did you get that? This was created by Adrian and Brendan. Don't look at me. <laughs> and John. This this is basically a level, detailed plan, level plan of the green. Come up 12 metres and then spread tops all there again, about a yard out. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> There's about 600 hours of work goes into the green every year. different colour then. This is the hedgehog ramp. This is a hedgehog ramp, yeah. He lives here at night. Pretty John, Next pretty one. John, pretty John and pretty John. Colin, <laughs> Rodney Rod. and Adrian. Hey. And the most important person, and John. He's John out. Bendel. <laughs> That's a bovine handshake. Now, Mr. Grass Snake here is stuck, you wouldn't believe it, in a flower pot. I'm going to barbecue him. Oh, he's just coming out. I need to put my hand on him, but I'm a bit nervous. Sid's been captured. Oh. 
Lucy. Oh, the pot. Oh, he does smell terrible. I think we'll take him down to the pond, shall we, and put him in the water? Now look. Is it injured? We'll see. Back to a bike shop, that'd yeah. be interesting. Yeah. yeah. It's in the frame. It could be, could be a BSA. Is okay. that good? It's Nearly an antique. Yeah, it was designed by a chap, um, an architect from Hemlock, uh, Ross, um, no, I can't quite remember his surname, a specialist sort of <coughs> heritage architect, and made by me in my workshop in Hemlock. Oh, that's lovely. And your name is? Richard Donkers. Richard, is, I think it's yeah. going to be fantastic. It is. Lovely, lovely great. bit of wood. And it's all made from English oak. Forty, five, fifty, five, ten, twenty. One twenty, quite short. One twenty. Dave Harris, one twenty, number thirty-seven. Right, turn around a bit so I can see the other, the interesting bit. Yeah. <laughs> now this lady's paid a pound for this lot, tap tops, and they're all going on a wall. I think that's a really good idea. Now I'm going to try and spit fire than Jan's one spit fire than tell me where. There's wheels and all sorts, I think, down in the shed for it. We've got seven or eight, six hundred, five hundred pound. Five hundred, two hundred pound bed, two hundred pound bed, two hundred pound bed. Suit you, madam, wouldn't it? You'll love bed, it. Two hundred pound bed, two hundred pound bed. A fast car for a fast lady. A two hundred pound bed, two hundred pound bed, two hundred pound bed, two bed. Twenty five, two fifty, two seventy five, two hundred pound bed, twenty five, fifty, three fifty. <laughs> Thank you very much. Now, what are your names? Anne. Anne. Sue. Sue. No. Vivian. Thank you very much.
Could I have a, a first class stamp, please? First class stamp. Okay, okay, let me see. Maybe a Taller. It's a large letter. It's too big. Yeah. First class. 93 pence, please. 93. There's a pound. Thank you. Thank you very much. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you very much indeed for inviting me to this most important occasion in the history of your village, and it is an honour to be with you today. <laughs> One, two, three, go. In these early days of the 21st century, it's hard for us to imagine a time without domestic pipe water, when the village pump would have been at the heart of village life as a vital source of clean water for everyone. Water is, of course, essential for life, and even today represents an important sign of life. And this pump would have been at the heart of village life, not just for the life-sustaining water it provided, but as a place of meeting and discussion, a social hub of the community. So let us pray. Almighty God, we give thanks for this village and parish of Hemiok, whose members in 1902 erected this pump in thanksgiving for the reign of Queen Victoria and the coronation of Edward VII, and also in celebration of peace in South Africa. Well, actually, where I'm stood now is where my great-grandfather, George Barton, sat at the original unveiling. So anyway, I've got a little poem to say now, it won't take long, and it's by A.B. Blackmore, and it was written in 1968. The village pump in Hemiox Square, a fine, ornate cast-iron affair, was built in here in 1902 long before me and maybe you. Lonely it stands and long since dry as motor cars go rushing by. But no one ever stops to heed the words it says for all to read. Fear God, it says. Honour the King. Five simple words but how they ring across the years reminding us as we stand waiting for the bus. <laughs> and people only 60 years ago were not as now afraid to show allegiance both to church and crown. Long live the pump in Hemiot town. Long live the pump! <laughs> Okay, guys. Ready on three, big cheer. One, two, three. Yeah! Thanks, Gordon. Very scary. This is the gents' loo in Hemiok. Smells good.
Love Hemiok, it's a lovely little village. Hi, Bob. I've seen you walking to the pub. Just <laughs> loving the place. That's, right. That's a fine looking uh, horse you got there. Hiya, Lil. <laughs>
laugh. Well, you look fantastic. I went to see the pantomime oh, last night. Oh, God, did you? And it was flipping marvellous, oh, Jeff. God, was it? You are oh, very good. Oh, do you realise? Such a cold. You were brilliant in it. <laughs> was it? Yeah. Did I do I my really... part good? You were br I really oh, enjoyed good. it. Well done, you. This is my apple harvester that I've mostly home built, or nearly all home built, utilising existing ideas and a lot of my own ideas as well. Um, it's now nigh on 30 year old and in 1991 I think it was, it won the Farmers Weekly's inaugural Inventor of the Year competition for agricultural engineering projects. And it's all home welded and home oh, built. Oh yeah, all home fabricated I and home designed. It. Yeah. It's extraordinary. It looks as complicated as an aeroplane it to me. It is very complicated. I might need to borrow that. Hey Jimbo, this attack man over here.
temporary car park. I was watching a bit on the internet last night about Saatchin, which is pretty deep. And it's pretty big in Eastern Europe, isn't it? Is it? Latvia? Is it really, yeah? Yeah, a lot of Latvians doing it. Well, I can understand a word of it, of course, but... <laughs> Sounds still. Lucky not to be squashed you are, mate. Found in the road outside Spa, in the dark, with all the cars just driving, driving straight over him. Thank you very much. All finished with? Yes, I'm taking a so let's hope this lasts. Yes, yes. 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 Oh, it, it's I got to last. It's right vitally here. important. It, it, it's all. I mean, children are looking at screens and iPads and all the things, but they've got to have books. I thought you didn't have it. No, but... no, to be too big.
Cole's Rural Ra Railways in England. It's sort of followed the Cone Valley line, and it, it, the scenery was unsurpassed. <laughs> Guy streaking along the top. Yeah. <laughs> you are phenomenal. Yes. Where are you from? Uh, from well, from Taunton United, but I'm at St Mary's University in London. You are amazing. So I mean, a real athlete. Cheers. It was lovely to watch you. Thank you. <laughs> What's your name? Uh, Rowan Priest. Very sorry about that. Simply down now, but it was the second time. 